What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to address our cooling system as well as our power steering system. Stay tuned. So we're going to start off by getting this old existing power steering line, both of them, out and off the rack. So I already got one of them off and it's going to be hard to see. I'll grab a light in a minute, but basically move these power, these uh, oil lines out of the way and you can see this barbed fitting. There's another fitting behind it. So I got to get in there and remove those. And that allow me to install the uh, Siki kit that I'm going to use. Here's the Siki kit I'm talking about. It is a pre-designed LS swap kit. And it comes with these nice fittings that go into the uh, rack. And then another one that, I guess these two go into the rack. And this one goes into the power steering pump. And, you know, they give you these nice hoses with AN fittings. And they're pre-made so you know you probably could do it a couple dollars cheaper if you went to napa or whoever your local hydraulic store is and did it you know did it yourself and made your own connections but you know the quality of the material that they give you is really nice and i'm i'm okay spending the extra money for the convenience so i was going to try to get these lines out without cutting but I don't see that being possible without removing the engine really, and I don't really care, so I'm going to just cut them. So there's half right there, and we'll grab the other half from the front of the car, and here's the other half. Alright, so... That won't be for sale. I will have some other stuff for sale, but that definitely not for sale. Now that I have the existing hoses off, you can see I already got um, one of the new fittings from the Siki kit in, and I'll get the other one. Then we'll run some lines to the power steering pump. Now that I have my two fittings on the rack in, I can attach, and I don't know if you can see that, this last fitting into our power steering pump, which is right there. And you can use a 19 millimeter socket to get these fittings in, it's much easier. So it's a little hard to see, but we got the uh, feed and return for the power steering pump going into the rack. And we also have it connected to the pump now. You can see the power steering fluid bubbling as it, uh, bleeds itself. You're probably supposed to run the engine uh, while you do it, but I'm just going to fill it up to the best of my ability because I don't feel like running the engine right now. Open headers, so this will get it close. And then once it's started, I'll top it off. This here is our Nishimoto radiator. It's a direct factory replacement. For now, I'm going to put on the factory fans, but I have a strong feeling I'll need to upgrade those so um, we'll give it a try for now and then if it doesn't work we'll upgrade it's easy enough to do now that I have the radiator um, attached to the core support I cannot lift it into place Take my bolt, hold it in place. Like that. I am sweating. It is hot out here today. I think it's the first day of summer for us. So. There it is in place. Now we just got to get our radiator lines um, figured out. So 
So as I placed the radiator into place, I noticed that our uh, power steering reservoir kind of touches our fan shroud a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll mark it with a Sharpie and then take it off and give it a little bit of a trim. It only needs like an eighth of an inch. Here are the cuts that I'm gonna make to the top fan shroud. I also need to make an adjustment where the regulator, this uh, return hits. So I gotta trim that as well. All right, you can see I trimmed the fan shroud and it clears pretty nicely. I still need, I think I'll do this one in place and then clears down there as well. So now I'll play with getting our upper and lower radiator hoses on. So right there and then that one goes all the way down here, but I think the hose that I have will work perfectly for it. All right, now so for the upper radiator, um, obviously this is too long, but that's all right because I needed to cut it anyways because I'm going to put in this um, barbed fitting and it has an eighth inch NPT um, plug and I'm going to run our steam tube from the heads of the engine to here because the Z radiator doesn't have a steam tube port like an LS or one of the um, GMC truck radiators would have so probably just cut this square in half so I'm gonna try cutting this on the chop saw I think it will give me the squarest cut find out Take this piece and slide this in. And looks like my mark was spot on, so we'll go with that. All right, so I made the cut. Now I can slide this end on and that end on. And I'll make sure to get some hose clamps on it in a little bit. And then this will have a 90, probably running something this direction and back with um, dash six line. And it goes into the steam vents. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. So this last piece will probably conclude the video, but we're gonna change out this crossover tube. And it's the steam vent. What we're going to do is put in a crossover tube that is, has a threaded fitting and we can tie it into here. So I'll work on that. It's really straightforward. You can see it just, you know, literally crosses over under the throttle body. <clears throat> and then we'll tie it into this bit right here. I'll bring you back when I have that um, done. All right, that's a wrap on today's video. I figure you guys don't really need to see me fill the radiator up with coolant and go through the process of burping it. But, um, you know, in the next upcoming video, we'll probably work, start working on the throttle cable, get that run, because it's a drive-by cable instead of drive-by wire, and we'll have to retrofit our pedal to work with a cable. And we will also play with getting the stock fans wired up to our Terminator X. So I do believe that the radiator as you see it now probably won't last in this form 
I think what we'll probably end up doing is getting rid of this core support, um, probably laying the top of the radiator forward so that it's more at a diagonal and then running bigger aftermarket puller fans and that will give us a lot of room because I do plan on supercharging this engine and it's going to be centrifugal supercharger that has a nice home right here and so um, yeah that's that's kind of some end game goals but I can see it happening um, sooner than we expect so I'll play with the radiator a little bit and we'll go from there but for now if you like the video leave it a big thumbs up and if you like the build and you're excited to see where it takes us you know hit that subscribe button Thanks. Thank you.